Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radio Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week, we're doing things slightly different again. Uh, so I pulled this spread for Aries, and it just felt like it really flowed, and it actually felt like it was a good way to do this for everybody this week. So the Temperance card come up, and Temperance is about alignment. It's about what you align yourself with. It's about what you are. Uh, sometimes it's about what you're balancing, right? It represents the blending of things, or the process of spiritual alchemy, choosing between two things, or measuring out the the uh, quantities or proportions that you bring something into your life. You know, when we talk about alignment, what are you welcoming in? What is it that you are, uh, you know, holding uh, space for, as Nico always says, which I really love, makes total sense. So let's have a look at the things that you might be dealing with, judge it, uh, judging or, or balancing at this moment in time. And who better to do the balancing act than a Libra? Your. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, right? So this is about synchronicity and luck and abundance. But it's also about being in the right place at the right time. And it does look like in some way, shape or form, you are, Libra, trying to manoeuvre yourself into a place where you are in the right place at the right time. Now, I mean, remember the high priest, the high priest, the wheel of fortune sometimes sees things out of our control. And it does look like you might be dealing with a situation that you kind of realize you don't really have much of a say in, but you're trying to do what you can anyway. You know, this is like the trying to work with the energy as best you can, but not necessarily having a complete handle on it. Uh, remember as well with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a reminder that what goes up must come down eventually, and whatever go, you know, whatever is down can only go up from there. So this is about you really finding a way to regulate where you are at this moment in time. Time. That's one of the things that you're kind of working on or working with or trying to balance out. And what you're trying to align that with or, you know, balance it out with is the Six of Pentacles. So this is interesting, you know, what you're not in charge of, but what you can control, what you can micromanage. And it does look like, you know, this is a very Libran card as well, actually. It is that reminder <clears throat> excuse me, it is that reminder that sometimes we aren't, you know, what we can control, we should, and what we can't, we should just leave up to the heavens. It does look like you're oscillating between this kind of, okay, I can let things just be as they naturally are, um, but I can, you know, but well, but I can do something about this. Uh, your six of pentacles can sometimes be about charity. Uh, very often I see this card for a lot of people that try to, or, are, you know, need to assume responsibility for somebody else else. It does look like this week you may be able to, uh, you know, alleviate that in some way, shape or form. So what you're being asked to do is to show up where you can, but on the other side of it, let go of what it is that you know you're not in control of. There's some things, if you know you can't do anything about it, or you know you're not going to be able to change the way that it is, offer it up. It's the best way because it will save you mental time, energy and anguish. Your direction card is the Ten of Swords. So this is about release, it's about letting go. Now think about this as well, right? The uh, Wheel of Fortune, Ten. The Ten of Swords, Ten. Tens are all about completion, but they're also about attainment. This week, the best way that you can move forward is by letting go of what, and it's not even about letting go of whatever doesn't serve you, because you know we hear that a lot. What does that actually mean? It means letting go of anything that is not growing you, supporting you, or sustaining you in any way. This week, you might have a big decision to make when it comes to that, to letting something go that isn't, is no longer doing what it says that it does, right? This week, you might have to pay attention to that, because wherever it is that you are, whether that's professionally, platonically, in terms of actually, you know, whatever it is or wherever you are has seen itself to its natural end. It's time for you to release. Your insight card is the Page of Swords. So I have to be really honest with you. I feel like this is going to be quite a challenging week for you, Libra. Um, you know, you've got the Page of Swords here as an insight card. You've got the Ten of Swords there as a direction. 
it does look like this week you may be either having some really sort of heavy conversations or maybe just maybe you are called uh, to, to not and when I say stand trial I don't mean it like that uh, maybe this week you are called on to speak on a certain subject and it might be something that you've either been holding back for a, a while or maybe something you've left yourself out of because you know that your opinion is going to be unpopular it does look like this week you're not going to be able to get out of it so when somebody asks you your opinion or somebody asks you to step up to the plate this is the time for you to speak now you know you know when they say at weddings speak now or forever hold your peace this is the week where you have to speak it up right this is the week where you've got to say what you think and ultimately this is about where you get that chance to demonstrate just why your opinion was the right one in the first place uh, you know, that's not to say that anybody's above anybody or anything like that, but you get my point, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Look, have as best week as you possibly can. Be kind to yourself and other people. But ultimately, when it is your chance to speak, when you get that moment, this is the time for you to deliver it. And if that means having to walk away from something that is no longer supporting, sustaining, growing, or even, uh, you, you, yeah, supporting, sustaining, or growing you, then just release it. You know, now is the right time. And sometimes the only way that the, the next, you know, the, the other part of the scale is going to be full again is by taking whatever is out there that is either too heavy or too light. You know, sometimes you've got to put something else in place. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.